What up guys, what's happening, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of With Extra Feels, with me, Ben. Um, so, right now, I am uh, obviously in Cape Town still, and I've come for a little walk um, up this little river. It's so beautiful, and I'm feeling super inspired by nature right now, and it made me think, I actually want to share this darker uh, experience that I had last night and um, yeah so this share is with extra feels and trigger warning I am talking about depression and um, suicide and I am also going to be talking about um, nature and love and so yeah, here we go. <sighs> so, about 10 days ago, I think it's important you should know this. About 10 days ago, I had a plant medicine journey and uh, with mushrooms, the spirit of Soma. And it was my first five gram medicinal ceremony and it was beautiful. And I'm gonna make a podcast about it sometime. And um, I've just done an extended version of this with extra feels for my Patreon community. And I've spoken a little bit about the lessons, some of the main lessons that I've learned from that journey. Um, so if you wanna go and check that out, the link is below. For anybody who's had any kind of experience, plant medicine or otherwise, of expanding your conscious awareness, even if it's going to therapy or having a deep chat with someone who's being very truthful with you, or even being finally very truthful with yourself about something that's not working for you anymore. Having awareness of a destructive pattern or um, bringing into consciousness, out of consciousness, bringing into consciousness away from unconscious patterning, bringing light to it, having awareness, seeing it, whatever you want to call it, we now know about it, basically. And plant medicine is very uh, efficient at showing you the parts that were unconscious to you previously, which is why it can be very uncomfortable. Um, you get some real home truths thrown in your face with love of course, but sometimes love needs you to drop your bullshit. And that's certainly been the case for me over the last two and a half years. So all the different types of therapies, including plant medicine, will show you and bring awareness around something that you need to, or you're being invited to, and you can choose to work on if you want. And that process of going from awareness to changed behavior is called integration. When you're integrating the things that you're learning. And this is actually where the real work goes down. And over the last 10 days, I've had a very tumultuous process of integration. It's starting to settle down and simmer down, but it really came to a head last night. It really came to a peak. I hope you can hear me properly with the waterfall. I'm sure you can. Um, last night, or yesterday generally, I was feeling very depressed. I was like annoyed at some banking issues and not having access to my money. And then my old programmed fears around money and money equals survival. We need money to survive. So. It really hit me in my root chakra, right at the base, it, for my root survival, and it get, got me scared. Like fear came up for me. And I have been experiencing mostly just a very high vibration of love, generally, in my life, and especially after my journey. And so it really hit me like a ton of bricks. I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, how can this thing be so difficult? And really it's just an invitation, a challenge, an invitation to heal a part of my life that needs work, 
that needs attention and needs me to reprogram and change the way I relate to that aspect of my life. That's all it is, it's just an invitation, but it's shown to me through fear. And so I became very depressed yesterday to the point where I ended up just laying on the couch, wanting, I was like, I'm just, I wanna go to bed and I wanna pull the duvet over me and I just, I just don't wanna fucking wake up. And I was getting angry at the system and the, um, all the political shit that's going down and the massive polarization that we're experiencing that is causing mass separation in our species at a time when we are really being invited to come together and work together and like bring forward that unity level of consciousness. And I was hopeless. I was like, it's fucking hopeless. Like if I can't even get my shit together and my bank is like holding all my money back from me and I can't even get in contact with them and it's hopeless, I'm hopeless, I give up, like, what the fuck, I don't want to be here anymore, and I remember those dark times that I have experienced over the last two and a half years on occasion, where I just, I'm done. I'm just done. I'm too sensitive for this shit. I'm too sensitive to be here right now on this planet with all this stuff that's going on, why are we the only species that has to pay to live here? Why are people living on the streets still? Why food grows for free out of the ground, water rains down from the sky, air should be clean, and we should just fucking love each other. And why isn't that a thing yet? I'm so sensitive, I can't handle all this darkness. I don't wanna be here anymore. And I'm smiling about it now, but at the time I was fucking crying and I was writing in my, all of this in my journal. I was like, I just want to go to bed and never wake up. I'm going to reincarnate down here on Earth when all of this ascension stuff has happened, when we've moved into a golden age or something. I'm going to come back when it's all love and light because I'm, I'm too sensitive for this. And, um, and in that moment, when I really felt like I was hitting rock bottom again, hopeless I thought okay well I'm not going to kill myself seems like a waste so I might as well be here and try and help if there's changes that I want to see in the world I better start making them myself that's what I'm here for that's what I feel like I'm here for I'm not here to live in my ego and chase materialism. Although I will admit that it feels good to drive a fast car and it feels great to even have a house over my head. It feels great that I have all the tools around me to edit videos and express myself in the way I like to do. But it's not why we're here. It's not why I'm here anyway. And I remembered well, fuck. I'm here to serve. I'm here to serve people. And I don't know what that looks like exactly yet, but I feel like I'm doing it already just by deciding that. I want to serve people by helping them come into the awareness of choice. The choice between fear and love that we have moment to moment, every single moment that we are alive we have choice between fear or love fear or love and although many people's choices have been seemingly removed of course we don't have a choice we have to earn money that's no choice around i can go and try and live off the land and be live in the mountains or something but that's not realistic and that doesn't feel like service to me either So I don't have a choice about money, but I do have a choice about my perception of money, my relationship to it, my relationship to that which I can't control. I can't control that we need money to live. I need money to survive. So I need to rework my relationship and this can go for anything so that I can at least remain sovereign in my perception of that which is happening to me that is out of my control and choose love. 
and love means trust and surrender. Surrender to that which is out of our control. And so I had all these beautiful revelations right after I wanted to kill myself. And I cried and I cried and for, and I felt, I felt the pain of the suffering of people who don't even have a home of the 80% of the population of planet Earth that are struggling to make ends meet, let alone, or struggling to even feed themselves or don't have access to electricity, let alone the internet to actually learn what's going on during these times. I felt it. And I remembered I am empathic and I am a sensitive being. I am here to feel. And that is my service too. And if you resonate with that, and you're also sensitive, know that this whole process that we are going through collectively, this mass invitation to heal the shadow aspects of ourselves that we now have awareness over, that have been in the darkness for thousands of years, they're now coming into the light. And it ain't an easy process. But you've got to feel it to heal it, motherfuckers. Oh my God, but it's painful, it hurts. It feels like my heart is breaking in two and I'm completely just handing everything over and surrendering and being like, I actually can't take this anymore. That depth, that depth of feeling. If you resonate with that, you are literally here to participate in the collective ascension the collective alchemization of these old shadow aspects. Heal them by feeling them and transmuting them into light and frequency, a higher frequency, energy, and then embody that shit and be a beacon, a steward of love moving throughout this planet. Loving everything you see removing judgment from yourself and from others like the last videos thank you so much for the beautiful comments in that last video by the way i was like i want to speak to it a little bit more and of course i'm very new to this whole um this whole process really and i'm just trying to get past the fear of saying everything perfectly or being heard the way i want to be heard and just allow myself to make mistakes and not be perfect um Otherwise, I'll never make anything and I'll never say anything that I feel is my truth. Um, but thank you for watching these videos. Whatever challenges you're going through right now, I just want you to know that you are capable of moving through them. There is nothing that is coming your way that you are not capable of moving through and growing from. And trust me, my experience of moving through dark challenges and dark times and a dark night of the soul and depression, mental health issues and anxiety and generally being a very sensitive human being in a very distorted society, Every challenge shows you your true strength. It really does. And we need you right now. We need you. We, we need you. We need you to feel this. We need you to ask your friends, are you okay? Check in with people, check in with yourself on a daily basis. And if I'm to offer any kind of advice for this process right now, with everything that's happening in the world, there's so many things trying to hook us in, fear frequencies that are trying to hook us in and take our attention and keep them alive. Give yourself, gift yourself the time and the space and the stillness to put your phone down, remove yourself from those collective 
frequencies and go inward and meditate. If you have a meditation practice, deepen that meditation practice right now. Commit more to it. Make time for it. And if you haven't started a meditation process yet, I can highly, highly recommend that for peace of mind, for the process of cultivating awareness of the programs that we are perpetuating and operating in that are magnetizing things into our lives, lessons, lessons that we've learned by now. The same lessons keep coming up over and over again because we need to really learn them. Same for me, I've got old lessons coming up left, right and center. But I trust the process of it. I trust the process. Anyway, I'm gonna keep this relatively short. I love you guys unconditionally, wherever you are on earth right now, I fucking love you. You are, you deserve to be here. You are loved, you are supported, and you've got this, you are strong, and we need you right now. We all need you. I love you, I love you, I love you. And don't forget to go and check out my Patreon if you want to support this whole thing. And I look forward to bringing you more videos in the future. I'm working on another Visual Vibes. Goodbye.